Hi, I'm Kat Corbett, and I am here with the boys from Fiddler at the K-Rock Studios. Brandon, Zach, Elvis, Max, hello. Welcome. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi, Kat. Um, we were really excited. You have a lot of fans here at K-Rock when alcohol got added into regular rotation. Um, for many reasons, we're, we're, there are a lot of fans, like these little hangar outers that came here to say hi. Um, but it's also a weird time in music uh, for rock. And so to get a song like Alcohol, which is just ballsy kind of, uh, you know, rip your face off energy into rotation here in alternative radio, it's a really weird thing. I hope you guys understand how crazy that is. Like you cut through like a lot of crap. A lot of it is dance stuff now. So I was wondering how do you guys, how do you guys feel about, uh, you know, the state of where you guys are versus kind of what's popular, if you will. Well, we appreciate you taking a chance on it. I mean, yeah, just we've been doing this for a while. And so we just kind of stay true to the stuff that we, you know, that comes out and the stuff that we like. And so. It's cool that you guys are taking a chance on it. Do you guys like um, kind of the dancier stuff? Sure. Walter, I do. Do you really? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're into that? Yeah. Could you guys write a dance song if you had to? We have. We went to uh, El Paso and we wrote like, what did we call it? Dos Boot? <laughs> it's like, like an movie? industrial, yeah, it's like, like disco, disco industrial <laughs> song. We like, uh, oh my god, I was thinking of uh, God. What's the metal band? It's like Ram Ram uh, yes, Ram Ram like Ram German Ram dungeon rock, you know, kind of right. dance. The last time we had you on uh, at K Rock was with uh, Striker at the Coachella House. Okay, yeah, and you guys came and uh, you were talking about the new album. So let's get a status update. Where's the new Fiddler album? Just gonna have to find out, Kat. <laughs> have you guys been doing nothing since Coachella? I mean, basically, <laughs> we're still recovering from Coachella. Uh, to bet, be honest, I bet. yeah. We right. all got like PTSD. <laughs> Did you really? Post-traumatic Coachella syndrome. Sun disorder. It's the Coachella SARS. That's what everybody gets. Yeah. Coachella that's what SARS. It. Yeah, that's what we call it. <laughs> We're Mars. all sick here. After Coachella, we are all like, it's disgusting at K-Rock. It's so gross. Zach, you're a producer. You do stuff. So how is it ha kind of giving the controls over to somebody else? Super awesome. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So you're not a control freak then. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's... It's hard, like when you're working with somebody that you don't get along with, a eh? like and like don't respect, mm -hmm. you know, or like finding somebody that can like connect with, like us in general, you know, and get it. But Ricky kind of fit all those things. Like, not only is he an amazing producer, he's like an am amazing human being too. So it's just like I feel like you guys are probably um, great for him as well. And you know, why don't you tell people what he normally works on? I mean, he's got like the Twenty One Pilots and the did a song called uh, Fireball by this guy Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are kind of low wiggle. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a yes, song I actually. Wiggle. My nephew loves that song. He like sings it all the time. Do you dance with him to it? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I bet. What you gonna do with that big fat butt? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You know what I found um, after years of interviewing bands, um, and it always struck me as funny. And even like the, you know, like especially the the like super indie bands, if you will. Um, there was always just in talking. There was always this uh, thing of the members being growing up on metal. And being like their oh, well. thing, even, you know, you're just like, what? Do yeah. you, what? Do you grew up on, you know, Queensrÿche, and now you're writing these songs. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that like, what did you guys grow up listening to? Uh, Blink 182, to then getting like our dad's record collection, and then you know, Germs, Adolescence, Black Flag. Let's talk about your dad. Yeah, he uh, he played in TSOL. Psycho. The, yeah, <laughs> he's an absolute psycho. Lives down the street. Um, <laughs> Does, yeah. he try, does he try to give you pointers? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. No, he uh, he's always been supportive of music stuff, you know, because he grew up doing it. And um, yeah, because he played in TSOL, it was like we kind of discovered all those bands and then realized that, you know, both of our parents had, that's what they grew up, you know, that's all the records that they bought when they were like teenagers were all the old, old school punk stuff. So do you think um, he was happy or bummed out you guys were choosing the life of music? Uh, he was stoked. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. great. No, totally. He, he, our old band, 
uh, went on tour when we were in high school, like 14, 15, and him and my mom came on tour with us <laughs> and drove us around. And it was like a nightmare. It was like so not the first tour experience you want to have. Mom, it's like, Dad, stop. Yeah. No, but they're, they're definitely, definitely Cursing into it. Me. Yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. I love that. Um, and so uh, so you have the Blink-182s and, and your dad's music, obviously, and all that stuff. Uh, what about you guys, Brandon, Zach? What, what, what were we looking at you in your bedrooms? Off, bud? <laughs> Come on. I mean, definitely... Blink was big for me. Yeah. I'm from San Diego, so like, huge. That's obviously, a big one. Um, you know, POD was in there. <laughs> yeah. Incubus. See, now we're getting into it. Now we're yeah. getting into it. I got really into like the Get Up Kids. Okay. Like that, oh yeah. Like, and they're back emo now. World. When emo We've, was emo. Yeah. You know? We yeah. played this festival at the Observatory in Santa Ana called When We Were Young. Yeah. And they played. Mm -hmm. and They were incredible. Amazing. And they were like making all these jokes about how old and fat they were. <laughs> and the get up kids were just like, now that we're old, fest. Like, they, that's what they like, said. Yeah, they were like, when we were young, it's like, like now that like we're Wally old, they're like, a little thanks for watching us old fat guys play our music. But they sounded great. Like, I was like losing my shit. Uh, Zach, what about you? What's your, what's your growing up jam? Um, I grew up in Hawaii, so like, there was only like one band. And it was the this band Dead. called Sublime. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I went to Hawaii once with friends who trapped me listening to The Grateful Dead. Oh. It was raining out and I had nowhere to go and I wanted to murder everyone because yeah, that's, that's a, not that's my a, thing. It's a dark place. Yeah, it is a very <laughs> dark place. But yeah, Sublime. All right. I want to go back to the Get Up Kids because I always think about this and you, you know, I'm sure you guys maybe talk about it or joke about it, but do you see like Fiddler at 60 doing the, you know, doing the tour? It's when our dance record comes out. There you we go. Can just Laptop, CDJ, boom. I mean, how do you guys feel about that? You know, some it's easy to comment and be like, oh my God, they should not be out on the road for another band. But now that you're in it. Uh, yeah. I, think, I think it's like if you're, if you're still, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard because like, I feel like with a lot of the bands that still play now, they're just kind of playing their legacy stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like it would be cool if we were still like, kind of progressing and doing different things you know but you never know i mean who knows what it's what's going to happen at that Evolving. point there's also a thing i think with bands where it's like people who didn't get the opportunity to see them live like we saw the stooges play with pretty much the exact same lineup that you know that they started with and I, for me it's like yeah it, may, it might be a little bit like pandering or whatever but it's like that was amazing to see that so i don't know i'm into, no, I'm not I'm into that, that. Yeah, i felt yeah. the replacements the same way i was yeah. like i didn't get to see them when they were a band yeah. and i went i mean i flew out i flew to riot fest i was yeah, like yeah. I, I didn't care about anything else i was like i would always get out of my way yeah. I'm going to see <laughs> so yeah I, I think it's cool to, to have people still still going for it you guys are playing the agenda festival at the end of the month yeah, long beach yeah. Is Brock Hanson still playing? There? That's the thing. I, I heard that uh, Brock canceled. <gasps> I, haven't I haven't heard about that show specifically. So we're either. headlining Agenda Fest. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, Agenda Fest is a pop up music uh, festival, I guess, pop up shops. You know, so I, I think that's a good opportunity to kind of get to see um, music. And I think there's stand up comedians too, so who knows? All right. Well, I'm going to, uh, you know, we're going to wrap this up. I just, I, I'm glad you're in here. I love that we're getting to play some sort of rock. The, the time is like weird in alternative music. And um, yes, I like dancey stuff and all that. But I'm also really angry right now at the world. So I actually need some guitars and some kind of, I don't know screaming energy and so it's nice that we're able to play you guys and i know i've you know done a lot on the local show but now you're you know you kind of made that little jump into regular rotation oh, thanks very much yeah thank you fiddler everyone uh, alcohol is the single that we are playing on k-rock thanks for coming in you guys thanks for having thank you thanks for being so nice and nice i feel like every time someone says your name they're afraid that you guys are gonna like break everything in the room you know? We get that See, reputation a lot. It's like I'm like we are very nice people. We're good old boys. And scene. <laughs>